It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Bisto roast beef dinner. It either goes in the oven for 45 minutes or 11 minutes in the microwave. I'm going to choose the microwave option. I don't have real... I don't have 45 minutes really to, to hang about waiting for this to cook, so I'm going to bang it in the microwave. Let's have a look to see what this looks like. I haven't had one of these in years. I wanted to get it out before Christmas. I ran out of time with all the Christmas foods coming out. Uh, so it looks like there's the roast potatoes that you should put in. Some peas, carrots, and some beef. Let's have a look. Oh, well, look, before I open it, I'll have a look at the instructions. I'll get it in the microwave. So what we had to do first was take the Yorkshire pudding out of the dinner, microwave the food for 10 minutes, take the food out, put the Yorkshire pudding back into the dinner, and microwave it for a further one minute, cooking the Yorkshire pudding in a minute. Um, the one problem I did have so there's the Yorkshire pudding there on top the, the biggest problem I had was one of the one of the potatoes got stuck to the Yorkshire pudding so when I took it out I didn't realize so I got one Yorkshire I got one roast potato How hot is this? No, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Right, I can I can manage that with my hand. I think so. Whew. Where's my tea towel? Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, here is a look at the dinner. So one of these yolks, roast potatoes is gonna. I think it's that one there. Yeah, it was the biggest one. It's still gonna be frozen. So. Carrot, always eat your veggies first. That's what your parents always told you. Ooh. Oh, the carrots are like them carrots that just come out of the field. Really tasty. Peas, sorry. What am I talking about? The food review that gets peas and carrots the wrong way round. <laughs> oh, what's the word for the, do you know the word for, um, it's al dente, isn't it? Al dente is the word for pasta that's cooked to perfection. These carrots are kind of like al dente there. Slightly crunchy. But cooked. I'm really tasty. But the peas are amazing. And of course, if you're watching abroad, if you're watching from around the world, Bisto are well known for their gravy granules. So the gravy better be good because that's what they that's what they're known for. Do you want to have a look at this beef? It's piping hot, mind. Slab of beef. Do you know what? I was... I didn't buy it for a bit of fun. I bought it... for... I wanted to do it before Christmas, but I ran out of time. I was going to do one of those kind of like... Can be bothered with Christmas, just buy one of these and whack it in the microwave. Kind of if you're living on your own type of thing. I never got around to it. But not scoffing at it at all. This is like um This has got the feel of can you remember before Christmas I went down to Weatherspoons and I had that roast dinner? I paid about, I don't know, £10 with a drink. I paid £2 for this. £2.50, something like that. It comes with a great amount of gravy. Yeah. That was the potato. And spitting peas everywhere now. That was the potato that didn't go in the microwave long enough. I thought it was another one. I should have marked it with a cross. Um, where was I? 
Let's get a potato in my mouth first. I, I am hungry today. I always do these food reviews hungry. Um, but going back to it, where was I? Yeah, the the the, the Weatherspoons dinner. This this is like this is the same quality for two pound fifty. Yorkshire pudding, get it in there. Um, I'm not saying I'm not saying for one minute it's like proper restaurant quality roast dinner but it's, it's nice I'm not going to say it's bad either I'm going to put the roast beef over there for a moment just to let it cool down and the, so let you get three It looks like you get three pieces of beef. Yeah. Three pieces of beef, loads of gravy, loads of carrot. Potatoes are amazing. Right. Beef, rolled it up. As I'm reviewing, you want to see the beef, don't you? That's why you're here, really. Let's get to the beef. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's where it all falls down a little bit. That's a shame. It's a real shame. Everything else was superb. Carrots were nice, peas were crunchy, carrots were crunchy, gravy was tasty, potatoes were really good. It was like eating that Weatherspoons roast dinner before Christmas, but then you get to the meat. Mmm. Tough. I don't know if you can hear it. It's like gristly and tough in my teeth. Real shame. Real, 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 real shame because it was going so well. It was going really, really well. I mean, best though, they should, they should make a kind of like, just, just do a vegetable and potato and gravy one of these. Um, I would, I would happily go without the meat really. Good. Right, let's try another bit of beef. Roll it up. This bit, this bit isn't as hot. <laughs> I'm making a right mess, but reviewing it like this, I'm gonna make a mess, really. Oh, that bit's better. That is much better. You can tell it's been in the microwave. There's no getting away from it. You can tell it's been in the microwave. There's a little bit of gristle there. But. It's real beef. It's not kebab meat. That was the worst. That would have been the worst thing if it was kebab meat. That would have been like, oh no. What am I putting in my mouth? It's real beef. And that third bit, that third bit wasn't too bad either. The first bit was a bit grisly, a bit kind of tough and ah, having to stick it on my back molars to get through it. But that
Well, that's not bad. Question is, has it filled me up? Let's clean up and rate it. Has it filled me up? It's a for me. This is a lunchtime thing. I've been for my my daily walk, walk six miles. Come in hungry. Yeah, this has filled a hole till tea time, and for two pound fifty, you can buy a sa I mean, sandwiches are two pound fifty these days. I mean, if if you've got the luxury of, say, working from home, then for two pound fifty, this is ideal. Bang it in a the microwave. There's not that much fuss. 10 minutes. I emptied the dishwasher while it was on for 10 minutes. Always things to do in a house. Um, and then put the Yorkshire pudding in after. The Yorkshire pudding was nice. The beef was... The beef was so-so. Potatoes were nice. Carrots, peas and gravy was the best. Carrots, peas and gravy was just tremendous. It was really good. Um, so all in all... Shame about the beef. It's 100% silver side, 100% silver side as well. And the, the actual values, the, the, most of it's green. So it's quite a healthy, quite a healthy little dinner there. Not bad. I like it enough. I wish the meat was better. If the meat was get better, I would have given it an eight out of 10. An eight out of 10 would have been for the meat, but I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. If you like what you see, please comment. Please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.